so yeah uh, maybe we will start again so basically this course will be divided in two parts so first part it will be a bit of theory and uh, because it will be it is important to understand the second part uh, which is the technical part so in which i will explain you the vector tools software configurations and some vector hardware as well so at the end of this course uh, you will be able to set up the properly the configuration of the vector which can be used for the software so basically this software will be used in the application layer of the osi level uh, i will further explain you what will be the osi layer and the application layer and all so that allow you to send and read the can messages traveling along the can network uh, to uh, basically we have to set up the cano configuration and uh, because it will deal with the automated systems in the panel in general actually uh, so basically what it will do uh, if you apply the jobs or anything it will help you because uh customer according to customer requirement we will be uh, going further so basically uh, the difference between you can actually what cano and canalizer will be useful to measure the data basically uh, so uh, cano and canalizer are two similar softwares actually uh, that allow you to read and send the can messages traveling along a can network so uh, then what is the difference why these two uh, tools are there so basically the difference is that uh, like uh, uh, cano will allow you to control the behavior of any inter, uh, of many interconnected ecus cano will support many ecus whereas uh, when we are using and it's more versatile also cano and whereas when uh, we talk about the canalizer uh, we can control the behavior of only just one ecu so basically this is the difference between these two when you are connected to a network so uh, if you don't know ecu is some electronic control unit which will uh, which uh, which are fitted into our cars so uh, you can see this slide right uh, so basically in this slide if you see uh, the entire electrical network configuration is shown to you uh, so you can see like uh, there are many electrical uh, harnesses there are many uh, like engine control uh, you are responsible uh, engine control ecu will be there which is responsible to move the wheels and the vehicle in general and probably it is the most important among all the ecus uh, so another important ecu if you see you can be like a braking system node so what it will be responsible it is responsible to break the wheels either when the driver passes the brake pedal or when the camera detects uh, something in front of you uh, then there will uh, if there is an obstacle so in this case if you see uh, if the driver does not uh, press the brake pedal pressure in time uh, the detection camera will send again the message to the brake so no if no issue that acts on the brake system in the place you by breaking the uh, uh, if it will avoid an accident actually so this mechanism actually it's equivalent to very careful driver and uh, and that's why car always in the perfect current time instant so but in the latest vehicle what uh, now it's manufacturing there is not only one network line there will be many network lines and which will help to communicate each other so this is some physical theory uh, which will explain you further but this is the basic concept of why uh, how the how our car will look like if you go inside ecu and all so yeah and after that maybe we will be starting our uh, so uh, uh, after that we will be starting like what is can why we are using can what are the applications what are the physicals in which layer can will be using so i will be giving you the general overview and not uh, we will be like uh, why can because see uh can will allow many devices to communicate each other in real time so uh basically it will be like a can stands for this if, as you can see controller area network protocol and uh, uh it is a protocol it was developed by robert bosch basically in uh, around 1986 and the can protocol is a standard uh, designed to allow microcontroller so uh, basically it's a microcontroller uh, that will allow the other devices to communicate with each other uh, without any host computer and uh, it is like unique among other communication protocol uh, because it is a broadcast type uh, here broadcast means like the information will be transmitted to all the nodes which are in the network and the node is can be a sensor 
can be a microcontroller or any gateway uh, that allow our computer to communicate over the network basically uh, uh, through the usb cable or the ethernet so can basically it's a message based protocol which means that the uh, message carries the uh, whatever message we have to send it will carry the identifier uh, based on that identifier we will have the priority like which node uh, it should go and uh, there is no uh, need for node identification in the can network so it's very actually easy to insert or delete it from the network so it can be half duplex it is uh, actually half duplex and sync a synchronous type of communication uh, and uh, basically it's a two wired communication protocol i will uh, tell you further on this part and uh, it's connected uh, two wired are there and it's a twisted pair having 120 ohm register connected I will show you where exactly it is. So why can we can use any other protocol for our testing, uh, but why we are using only can so uh, can is like C. So before can as you can see here, uh, it's like see uh, the need a centralized system is needed because if you see before and after of can so before and after of can if you see the because number of electronics devices day by day it will be increasing and for that it can be uh, let's say for example if there are more than seven ecus uh, for the subsystems such as dashboard if you see here anti lock brakes engine control transmission control active suspension uh, lighting every these are the ecus actually uh, so and many more it will be there so if all the nodes are connected to one to one then the speed of communication would be very high but the complexity uh, will be more in this case and the cost of the wires because we need many wires to connect like this so the cost of wires also it would be very high so in the uh, in this example you can see a single dashboard also needs eight connectors so to overcome this issue uh, the can was introduced and uh, the can was actually the centralized solution that requires two wires uh, basically we will have a can high and can low as you can see here and the solution uh, is like can protocol quite efficient it is and due to his message prioritization and flexible it is so if you go with the application uh, applications of can protocol uh, so basically uh, can uh, protocol was designed to target the communication issue that occurs within the vehicle uh, so but later on due to some uh, uh, features it offers it now it is used in various other uh, applications as you can see uh, first is automotive um, like passenger vehicles trucks and buses uh, after that we have electronic equipment for aviation and navigation then we have industrial automation uh, and mechanical control we can use elevators and escalators we can use and even in building automations and in medical instruments and equipments we are using it a marine medical industrial everywhere uh, this can protocol is basically used so uh, this is like a can layered architecture so if you know here uh, this is our osi uh, model uh, it's basically divided into seven different layers uh, application uh, presentation layer, uh, session layer, transport layer, uh, network layer, data link layer, and physical layer. Uh, but uh, CAN is a layered architecture which will using two layers only. Uh, first is data link layer and second one is physical layer as you can see here. So let us understand what exactly it is. Uh, what is data link layer and uh, what is physical layer? so uh, data link layer it's responsible for node to node data transfer uh, so basically uh, what it will do it will uh, allow you to establish a terminate establish and terminate the connection and it is also responsible for detecting and correcting the errors uh, that may occur at the physical layer uh, some uh, let's say for example if you are sending a message and it got failed so for that detecting and correcting that error it it is useful at physical layer so basically data link layer is also divided into two sub layers uh, that is mac and llc uh, mac stands for some media access control and basically it will define uh, how the devices in a network gain access to the medium so basically it will provide the encapsulation of the data or maybe you can say for easy uh, it will detect your error 
and signaling and llc stand for a logical link control uh, so it is responsible from uh, some filtering or overload notification or recovery management so basically it is the part of uh, after that we have some physical layer here and physical layer it's like responsible for transmission of the data so it defines uh, the specifications for the parameters such as for example we know not to know like uh, what is the voltage level timing data rates and connectors and everything so basically can protocol and can physical layer are defined according to some iso standards uh, so uh, we have some iso like uh, 11898 uh, 11898 uh, 11898 one, two, three. Uh, so it's like uh, three iso standards we are using here uh, so first part is like it will contain some specifications of the data link layer and physical layer and second part of that ISO will tell us like uh, what comes under the CAN physical layer for high speed CAN what we will be needing or anything like that and uh, the high speed can also allow data up to 1 Mbps we can send the data at this speed so in the powertrain it will be useful and the, it charges the area of the vehicle as well and the third part of the ISO it will define as like can physical layer and for low speed can because the second part was saying us for about high speed can and the third part is like for low speed can so it allows data up to only 125 kbps uh, maximum is 1 mbps but uh, the third part ISO it was it is saying like it is only 125 kbps and the low speed can is communication critical factor we will be using it so as far as if we uh, say about some implementation is concerned the can controller and can trans receiver are implemented in the software with the help of some application operating systems network management functions and all uh, after that maybe we will see the detail uh, of what is actually the can physical layer and what it is doing so a can network what it is uh, a can network basically it's a multiple of the can nodes so in the above case if you see we have three can nodes here if you see we have three can nodes uh, which are like node a no node a node b and node c you can name it as and uh, basically uh, it is like three nodes one is host one is can controller and one is trans receiver in every node we have these so host uh, is a microcontroller here uh, or any microprocessor also which is running some application to do a specific job so it is uh, here host and host will decide what the received message means and what message it should send the next so basically microcontroller here will decide what it should receive or what it has to send what can controller is doing here can controller deals with the communication functions uh, described by the CRAN protocol so it also triggers that transmissions receptions of the message and all those uh, this will take care can controller and what can trans receiver will do is responsible for the transmission or reception on the data so basically it will convert the signal into the stream of data collected from the can bus uh, that can uh, like can controller cannot understand everything so it will trans uh, it will uh, convert the message what is collected that is easily understandable by the can controller so in the in this diagram as you can see uh, there are twisted pair of cable also of what i told earlier so basically in this we will uh, apply here registers also so if you see this cable is used to transmit uh, or receive the data and it is also known as can bus uh, this we will be knowing uh, calling it as can bus and it uh, is two lines can high and can low which is uh, we can say as can high line and can low line also so the transmission of the data will be due to some differential voltage according to the differential voltage that what we are applying to these lines according to that uh, the transmission will occur and can uses the twisted and differential voltage uh, because it has the environment like that only uh, for example if you see in a car motor ignition system many other devices can cause the data loss and data corruption due to the noise so uh, we are using here twisted with the two line uh, what it will do why it is twisted because it will reduce the magnetic field 